is a major issue that we are all facing nowadays. Reasons may be many. PCOD, hormonal change, chemically treating our hair, thyroid, water, etc. etc. Now I am taking a 30 days challenge to inculcate just 5 steps into my routine so I can put a full stop to this problem. Hello friends, my name is Kavya and welcome to my channel. And I promise these 5 steps will not include buying or spending anything from your pocket. So without further ado, let's get started. Top 5 being No Shampoo Challenge The fancy shampoos that we are all using today contains a lot of toxins like sulfurs, fragrances which in long run make our hair follicles brittle. Let's take a 30 days challenge to ditch chemical shampoos and move towards uh, natural cleansers which is Shika Kai or soap nut powder with Vaser. Now your next question may be like can it remove heavily oiled hair? My answer is yes. Surprisingly, it can remove heavily oiled hair. According to my analysis, it may take 15 days to remove the toxins from my hair and 15 days for the natural products to work on my hair. So, 30 days. Top 4 being protein and biotin. Now you guys know how protein and biotin plays a major role in promoting healthy hair. Curd being a probiotic helps to promote the hair growth if consumed in the right way. Also consume a lot of fruits and vegetables which are rich in antioxidants and vitamins which can help to strengthen your hair follicles. Medication not only relaxes your mind but may help to lower the levels of cortisol. High levels of cortisol is linked to hair fall. So meditate which in turn relaxes your mind. Poor blood circulation is another reason for hair fall. Massaging your scalp once in a while promotes blood circulation and increases your hair growth. Also asanas like Shishasana, Ushtrasana and Sarvangasana promotes blood circulation and increases your hair growth. So make it a point to spend some time in your day to meditate and do some yoga. Talk to me DIY hair mask. Try making hair mask with the ingredients which are easily available at your home. For example, banana. Banana is rich in vitamin and minerals which nourishes and moisturizes your hair. Banana is a natural conditioner. Mashed banana and coconut milk is a star duo which makes your hair strong and lustrous. Henna is not only a coloring agent but it also makes it's also an amazing conditioner which makes your hair thick and thicker and stronger. When you make seeds or methi, soaked and grinded methi has everything that your hair wants. Methi is rich in protein and nicotinic acid content which are beneficial against hair loss. Now let's talk about the very famous prescription for hair loss that is curry leaves. Curry leaves is rich in beta carotene and proteins which promotes hair growth and reduces hair loss. It's, it is also rich in amino acids which helps to strengthen the hair follicles. Chewing 5 to 6 curry leaves on empty stomach in the early morning helps to promote the hair growth. If you guys want to know why I kept hair oils on top one, let me explain about the myths heating the hair oils before applying it this way you're not helping your hair anyways you're just applying a rubbish liquid with literally nothing in it second using flavored scented hair oils which is, which hardly has any nutrients make a shift to cold pressed oils which are rich in nutrients and soak lavancha roots hibiscus methi seeds in it instead of heating it this way you are going to retain the nutrients along with these five steps i'm giving a try to purna uh, multivitamin hair gummies this is rich in protein vitamin and um, and biotin i think biotin uh, as i said biotin helps promotes hair growth so i'm giving it a try i honestly i cannot talk anything about it i'm critical about consuming anything artificial but since my hair loss was huge 
I thought I should give it a try. So I am adding this to my 30 days challenge. I don't know. I will give a honest review after 30 days, like how it worked or is it is it worth giving a try? So, Indian dupes to hair gummies, uh, which are so the, the hair gummies which are sold in US. Since they were, they are not easily available, and this is made in India. I thought I should surely give it a try. So maybe after 30 days, I will give you a hon my honest opinion about this. So that's about today's uh, video, guys. I hope that you people find found it helpful. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. See you in my next video. Until then, love you all. Bye-bye.